Hey guys, I'm back with another Batmobile, and this time we're going to be taking a look at the Hot Wheels 150 scale release of the Batmobile from Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Now, this is a good one, guys. Uh, we've, we've had a few versions from Hot Wheels of the smaller 164 scale Dawn of Justice Batmobile, but I've been anxiously waiting for them to release some of the bigger models. This is available in stores right now, and, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but along with this Batmobile, Hot Wheels has also re-released a number of their 150 scale Batmobiles. I've seen many of them in stores like Target. They even re-released the 89 Batmobile. When I finally found this 89 Batmobile loose on eBay for a great price, I was so excited. And it was, for a long time, one of the grail pieces in my Batmobile collection. It was just so hard to find and so incredibly expensive if you did find it back in the day. So I'm really glad that Hot Wheels re-released it. Uh, when I saw it in Target, I had to get this one too so I could have one mint on card. Um, you can see that the packaging for all of these recent re-releases or reissues are very similar. So let's uh, set this one aside and uh, let's take a quick look at the packaging because I really want to open this one up. Again, the, the packaging for all of these current releases of the, the 150 scale Hot Wheels Batmobiles are pretty consistent across the board. Um, they all have the vehicle displayed in a window box at the bottom there. And then they have the Bat logo at the top for whatever movie or source material it comes from. And on the back, they have the standard production info at the bottom. And then there's an image of this Batmobile at the top. And then they show you some of the, uh, the other vehicles that are available. All of these on the back of this card, they're fairly easy to find. I'd say the, uh, the Dawn of Justice Batmobile and the 1989 Batmobile are the two that are highly sought after. So you may see all of these other Bat vehicles in stores, but the other two might not be as easy to find. If you do see it in stores, though, I'd say don't think twice and get it. So yeah, the packaging is pretty standard. So uh, let's open this up and take a closer look. And here it is. It's nothing incredible out of package, but since I've become a big fan of this design of the Batmobile, I'm really glad to have one in this scale. So let's, uh, let's take a closer look at it. It still looks really cool, you know, um, but it just doesn't have any particular features or anything beyond the, the moving wheels. You know, like the gun turret on the front, that doesn't move. The canopy doesn't open like on some of the other 150 scale Batmobiles. But it does have some, some nice detail in the sculpt, like on the hood. And the fins on the back are well done. It even has some of the, the detail on the fenders there that's pretty accurate to the one that we see in the movie. Then you have that, that sculpting in the side bit there where the, uh, the hydraulics are meant to be. You can kind of see they, they included some sculpting in that gap right there. The back is not too bad. It's not incredibly accurate, but you know I suppose it's okay for the size. The color is a substantially lighter gray than some of the other models that I have, but it, it does have some extra paint apps on it. Aside from the orange lights on the front and the back, you have these dark gray patches, like on the hood there, uh, that centerpiece on the top of the canopy, and there's a little bit more on the fins, of course. There's even a little bit on the sides there. The underside has the typical Hot Wheels information, but this, this light colored bar going across there in the center, I guess that's, that's part of the hydraulics that I mentioned. I think this Batmobile is supposed to almost transform and the body moves up and down and that's where the, the hydraulics come in. This Batmobile does have a few plastic parts, but it is Hot Wheels, so, so it is primarily die cast metal. The wheels move with a great deal of ease. If I just set it down, it, it sort of just rolls on its own, you know? Which, you know, th th that could be a good thing or a bad thing, just depending on how you look at it. So, let's do a few size comparisons. The first thing I want to do is compare it with some of the other Dawn of Justice Batmobiles that I currently have in my collection. First, let's do the other BVS Hot Wheels scale that's currently available. This is the 164 scale. 
Of course, this one came in the 2015 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive release, but you can now purchase it individually. And I've seen some listings of that exclusive version on eBay, so it's, it's still available. But if you're looking to just get the Batmobile, then that's available too. I shared the single-carded version in my video for the Batmobile Mighty Mini set, and I'll leave a link to that review down in the description box. Here is the standard black variant that... Uh, that came in the set with the Mighty Minis Armored Batman. There's, of course, a single-carded version of this as well that doesn't come with the Batman. I wanted to mention in my last Hot Wheels video that there's one other version of this Hot Wheels 164 scale Batmobile that I'd like to get, but it actually comes in this track set called Batmobile City Chase. And I don't want the set, but I wouldn't mind getting the Batmobile because it's basically the same sculpt, but it looks like it's made out of chrome, or there are at least some chrome sections on it, and it gives it this sort of battle damaged or weathered effect. The other version of this Batmobile that I have in my collection is the Jada Metals diecast release. This is one of my current favorites in my collection. It's obviously bigger and has more detail to it. One of my subscribers actually told me that the Jada Batmobile is technically a 124 scale model. I measured both of them, and the Jada is about 20 centimeters or 8 inches from the gun turret to the back bumper, and this new Hot Wheels is roughly about 8 centimeters or 3 inches. I think seeing all of these different recreations of this Batmobile is part of the reason why I've really grown to love the look of it. It's a design that I thought was kind of cool when I first saw it, but then I gradually began to like it more and more, and now I absolutely love it. Now, I thought it would be fun to also compare this new Batmobile with the different Batmobiles that we've seen in the movies over the years. So, of course, this goes all the way back to the classic 89 Batmobile. And then we have the Batman Forever Batmobile, the Batman and Robin, and then, of course, the Tumbler, all leading up to the Batmobile in the Dawn of Justice movie. Now, what I think is interesting is how the Batmobile for each movie is almost representative of the overall design of the Batman universe for each film. I know it was certainly true for the Tumblr. I saw an interview with Christopher Nolan, and he said that if they could just nail down the look and the, the idea, the concept of the Tumblr, then everything else that they were trying to do with, with their interpretation of Batman would just fall into place. I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, in a recent episode of DC All Access, uh, they interviewed Patrick Totopoulos, who designed the new Batman v Superman Batmobile. And I'll also leave a link to that down in the description box if you haven't seen it yet. But he basically said the same thing that Nolan said, that the look and feel of Batman's world in Dawn of Justice, everything from his gadgets to the Batcave and the Batwing, it all started with his design of the Batmobile. In closing, this isn't my favorite release of the Dawn of Justice Batmobile, but I still think it's an awesome pickup. I am really happy to have another release from Hot Wheels of this new Batmobile. I know Hot Wheels is doing the bigger 118th scale version of the Dawn of Justice Batmobile, and you can actually pre-order it right now, but I haven't done that yet. I haven't seen any of the preview images of it, but depending on what it looks like, and given the fact that I love this new design so much, I'll most likely get that one too. I'm also really hoping that Eagle Moss will eventually come out with a special release of this one. I am uploading this video on the release date of the movie. I haven't seen it yet. I'm actually going to go see it later today. Like I've said before, I am cautiously optimistic about this new movie, but I am certainly looking forward to seeing the new Batmobile in action. You guys let me know what you think about this new Batmobile from Hot Wheels, and let me know what you think about the movie after you see it. So... We've been looking at the Hot Wheels 150 scale release of the Batmobile from Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.